Hey, what's up, everybody? We're going to talk about packing for a long trip. Now, I'm about to leave for three weeks to go to Europe, flying into Dublin, grabbing a plane over to Greece, uh, maybe Croatia, maybe Bulgaria. I'm not quite sure. So this is the bag I'm taking. This is the Outbreaker Tortuga, the Tortuga Outbreaker 35 liter. It's a 35 liter backpack. Uh, we'll get more into that on a different video. And then these three packing cubes came with this uh, with this bag. Um, I've got my flippy floppies, a pair of hybrid shoes, and my standard Tiva awesome, saved my life once, story for another time boots. Uh, this is a Mount Hardware Cole Hand Rain Parker that packs down super, super small. I love my Marmot shirts. So these are four Marmot shirts. These are all Smart Wolf socks. Um, there's some Farm to Feet in there as well. Uh, Merino Wool socks is where it's at. Buck Naked, the best boxers on the planet, hands down, best boxer briefs made by um, the Luth Trading Company. Over here we've got my toiletries, we've got uh, uh, Oakley sunglasses, my regular glasses, my, my wallet, my passport, my international driving permit. Uh, this is my amazing tiny little converter. This thing's like a transformer. It turns into all kinds of different, it turns into everything you would need. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I always travel with earplugs. Uh, normally at home I use uh, natural deodorant, but I still got a bunch of old deodorant left that I'm, I've just been working through in my travel bag. This is Dr. Bronner's 18 in one soap. Um, maximum that you can have on a plane. I love this thing. I only ever use it for Dr. Bronner. Uh, if I need to do laundry, I just shoot some Dr. Bronner up in the, up the washing machine. We're good to go. This is a, uh, man, I can't think of words today. You know, it's a neck sleeve. It's one of those sleeves for your neck. It's like a, it's like a neck sleeve thing. Uh, I wear it on the plane. I use it as my, my eye mask. I use it as a beanie. The, the thing's awesome. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below as well. Uh, and then I've got my a little bottle of mouthwash from a, from a hotel. This is my cologne that I use if I want to get fancy. Some nose spray. I always bring two sets of of contact cases. One of them is going to have contacts and fluid in it. Uh, the other one is going to be empty. And that'll be the empty one will be for the contacts that I'm wearing during my travel day. Um, little container of Tums. I refill this. I've had this container for years. I just refill it from, from a giant Tums thing that I get at Costco. And then I recently had ankle surgery, so I bring Tiger Balm with me. Uh, that's a bag of euros. So we need to spend it. This little buy, this little buy, this little dude, this little fella here. This is my, my pill pouch. Um, so it's got, it's got my normal medication. It's got Tylenol. It's got some multivitamins. It's got allergy medicine. It's got everything a traveler could need. Uh, I know a lot of people don't travel with this much in terms of, of medication or, or something this big. Um, but this works for me. I've been using this for, for years. It's a little Lewis and Clark um, pill protector. That's where it's at. Um, currently, we're using this really natty looking toothbrush holder. Uh, I've been using this for a couple years as well. Thinking about upgrading to a small electric toothbrush. This is my Eagle Creek toiletries bag. Love this thing. Um, this is my Peak Design little field pack. This thing's great. Just got this. This will be the first trip with it. And then this is pretty much all the stuff that's going to be going inside that bag. So we got. Uh, a portable battery pack by Anvil. We've got our, our extra batteries in the battery charger. This won't fit in there, but this will go in another pocket on the back. Uh, a little windscreen for the microphone, mics, lights, my Bose. I, I don't know. I am all about the in-ear Bose headphones. I think that they, they just take up so little space. They work fantastic. Uh, I, I love these things. I'm I keep thinking about changing to over the earphones, but for now, these, these are my jam. Uh, and then our Sony a6300 with uh, some Peak Design little attache thingies, uh, microphones and whatnot, and then the camera, the camera bag. I'm taking along a sling that's an Eddie Bauer um, 10 liter sling, which is gonna be my day bag. <sighs> and then my Piranha Pants. 
I fell in love with this particular pants. Those are identical. As you can see, they're just different colors. And then those are jeans by Prana, but they're the same cut and they got this like stretchy space under the, the crotch. And that's, you know how, you know, the sh everybody needs a stretchy space under the crotch, you know? That's, anyway, that's what those are. And those are my swim trunks slash night jammies. So that's what we got. Um, here's how this is gonna break down. I'm typically going to, for so we're, we're gonna be gone for I think 18 days, 19 days, maybe more. Uh, and typically what I do is I lay out everything that I'm gonna take, make sure that I have everything that I need. And then one of those shirts, one of those pants and that pair of boots and one of these socks and one of these boxers are gonna be what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So those are immediately gonna get set to the side and that'll be my travel outfit for tomorrow. Everything else is gonna go into their, their cubes. So I'll show you how that works. Yeah. This is how you pack one backpack. That's how you do it. Here we go, we're all packed up. This is the Tortuga Outbreaker 35 liter. Uh, and it is, it, is, it is good to go, just like this. I wanna show you, I made a couple of changes from the time lapse. In the time lapse, you saw me stuff a bunch of stuff into that Eddie Bauer sling bag. I ended up taking that out and, and distributing it around through the different pockets. I wanna kind of walk you through that really quick and then show you what it looks like on me. I'm 6'3", 230 pounds, so you'll get some idea of what a 35 liter Tortuga Outbreak looks like. I'm not gonna go too much into the bag. I'm gonna make a different review video for this bag after the trip. Uh, I just wanted to show you, now I've been one bag traveling for, for a long time, for about 15 years, and I know it's just recently really caught steam, but I have always hated roller bags and I've always hated checking bags. Uh, and so I've been doing this a long time. We've got about know, maybe seven to 10 bags between my wife and I. Uh, and we, we get a new bag every year or two because we're addicted to it. Uh, this is my newest bag. I just got it. So I haven't traveled with this Tortuga. She has three or four Tortuga bags. Uh, I've had a Deuter that I've, I've been a big fan of for a long time. I've tried the Air. I've tried several other bags. We're gonna make review videos a different time. This time is just about how much you can fit into a bag this size. So let me show you a little bit about how I organize this bag. Down here in this bottom pocket, this is where my, there's, there's a pocket right here, which is very cool. Big fan, again, gonna do a different video about this bag. But in there is my rain jacket, so it's nice and easy to grab and go. This top pocket here is where I keep my headphones. And, and again, this is why I like having just the small, in the ear headphones. They're, they're just so easy to grab and go and have in an accessible place. And then here's also my wallet. Now I put my wallet in my bag the night before I go to the airport. And on the way to the airport or when I get to the airport, I pull out just my driver's license because it's all I'm gonna need to get through security. And then I like having this in, in a nice ready to go space. So as soon as I'm through security, I can shove my boarding pass or my, my cell phone 
and my driver's license back in this front pocket. I'm a big fan of pockets like this. So that's where that's at. And then inside of this other pocket here, again, this is all about easy access. I like easy access things. Uh, there was this thought when I was packing that Eddie Bauer that I was gonna grab that, I was gonna pull that out as I went through the airport, but that's not the way that I typically travel. So I like to, to have my things all organized inside of the one big bag. And then I'll use that Eddie Bauer bag, that sling bag, when I get to country and need a day bag. So in this pocket over here, I've got my euros, um, which are just for when we get over to Europe. And then my cell phone charger is in here, my charging cable and my plug. My battery pack is in here, my ready to go battery pack. It's all charged up, ready to go. And then inside of this pocket here, I've got my passport. Now I'm gonna need my passport tomorrow when I get to the airport as well. When you're checking in for an international flight, you have to show to either the kiosk, the computer thing, or the gate agent that you have your passport. So my passport's in an easy to grab location as well. And then my charger is in here as well. So if I get to Dublin, if I get to the airport, and for some reason my battery pack didn't work or, or whatever, I've got my charger ready to go as well. So that's that, that's how that looks. Let me show you the inside of the bag. Uh, I'm a big fan of this bag for, again, we're gonna do a different review video for this bag. We're gonna see how it works over the next couple of weeks in Europe and then we'll do a review bag. Uh, my wife is traveling with a brand new Tortuga set out, so we'll do a review of that bag as well. But then my mother-in-law is going with us and she's traveling with a Cabin Zero bag, so I'll do a review video. Now I've traveled with Cabin Zero. I love the Cabin Zero. Again, different video. Over in this water bottle holder, this is where I'm putting my, my little my little tripod. Uh, it's, it's great, I like it, it holds it really tight. And then on the other side, my water bottle. I always travel with a water bottle. I hate buying plastic bottles. Um, so this is my Hydro Flask, it's got water and, and it's great for coffee, which I frequently, frequently need. The other thing that I did, again, like I said, I took out the sling bag and I packed it down and pressed it on itself. So here's my sling bag, here's my camera and its own little neoprene pouch. Uh, the other thing that's in here that I wanted to show you, let me take out the, the rest of the camera stuff is in here, is this this pocket here has got my, my glasses in it and my sunglasses. And then over here is my toiletries kit. I need these things to be close. On those long haul flights, on those flights from, from the United States over to Europe or, or over to Asia or South America, at some point I'm gonna take my contacts out and I'm gonna switch to glasses. Uh, sometimes I do that on the airplane toilet or sometimes I do it in the terminal before I get on the plane. But I need those things to be easy to grab as well. So over here is my contact case, my contact solution, over here is my glasses. I like that I don't have to go digging for these things. They're, there's nice places close to the top of the bag for me to get into it. So that's it. Uh, let me show you, let me throw this stuff back in here and show you what it looks like on my frame. Now again, one bag travels is the way to go, guys. I am six foot three, I'm 230 pounds. At one point, I was over 400 pounds and I still only traveled with a backpack. I hate checking bags. Uh, sometimes that means I have to wash my undies or my, my box of briefs. Undies, that's an old word. Sometimes I have to wear my undies or my, wash my undies or my box of briefs or my socks in a hostel sink or in the bathroom sink. But that's what that Dr. Bronner's is for, right? You just do a little squirt, you wash it up, you hang it up, you're good to go the next day. Uh, my clothes are way bigger than most people's clothes and I'm still fitting into a 35 liter bag. Now again, the 35 liter bag is not the biggest carry-on size. Typically like that 45 liter, that Tortuga Operator 45 liter, that's a maximum carry-on capacity. I like to travel with something a little bit smaller because I don't need that much space and you don't either. So here's what a 35 liter bag looks like on someone that's my frame. Now Tortuga, they typically ship with hip straps. They love these hip straps. Tortuga's hip straps are these big, bulky, beautiful hip straps that I have absolutely no use for. Um, it's very rare that I have a very long torso, so it's very rare for me to find a backpack where the hip straps are actually on my hip and not across my mid torso. And so the first thing I do with a bag with hip straps is take them off, which thankfully you can take off really easily. So again, six foot three, 230 pounds. This is a 35 liter bag. I like it, I feel good. I've never worn this bag before, this is the first time. It's not heavy, the straps are nice. Uh, there's gonna have to be some adjustment I'm gonna have to do with with this this portion here, so I'm not, I'm not choking. I'll have to pull those down. 
but this is what this looks like. It's sitting above my hips a little bit. It's above, my belt is right here, so this is above my belt. Uh, and so this is really just on my back. Just my back. I, I think I could go all day with this. I really like it, I really like it. So this is enough clothes for me to be in Europe for just about three weeks. I have everything I need plus camera gear. One bag travels the way to go. And the world, the world is out there, man. I don't know if you guys watch the news, but man, there's so much to see. And sometimes it feels like there's just so little time to see it. And when you watch the news, you feel like there's just less time every day, don't you? Uh, there's no better way to see the world than to get a one, one bag, one backpack, one, one just grab and go. Let's see the world. Let's jump on the cheapest flight this weekend and let's, let's get out there. Um, so I hope this helps you. I hope that I gave you some ideas about how to pack for an extended trip. Have fun. This is the Adventure Via channel, by the way. This is the first of our travel channel, uh, tr travel-esque videos. I'm really excited. We're going to be doing bag reviews. We're going to be doing um, some location reviews. And we're just going to be talking about how to get out there, how to, how to see the world, and how to travel in the... the sleekest, slimmest, fastest, most efficient way possible. Um, so yeah, welcome to Adventure Via. Uh, subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you next time.